Queen Anne's Revenge was a frigate, most famously used as a flagship by the pirate Blackbeard. She had been launched by the Royal Navy in 1710, and captured by France in 1711. She was used as a slave ship by the French, and was captured by pirates in 1717. Blackbeard used the ship for less than a year, but captured numerous prizes using her. In 1718 Blackbeard ran the ship aground at Beaufort Inlet, North Carolina, in the present-day Carteret County. Her crew and supplies were transferred to smaller ships. In 1996 a private firm discovered the remains of a vessel likely to be Queen Anne's Revenge, which has been added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. History, the 300-ton vessel, originally named Concord, was a frigate built in England in 1710. She was captured by the French one year later. The ship was modified to hold more cargo, including slaves, and renamed La Concorde de Nantes. Sailing as a slave ship, she was captured by the pirate Captain Benjamin Hornigold on November 28, 1717, near the island of Martinique. Hornigold turned her over to one of his men, Edward Teach, and made him her captain. Blackbeard made La Concorde into his flagship, adding cannon and renaming her Queen Anne's Revenge. The name may come from the War of the Spanish Succession, known in the Americas as Queen Anne's War, in which Blackbeard had served in the Royal Navy, or possibly from sympathy for Queen Anne, the last Stuart monarch. Blackbeard sailed this ship from the west coast of Africa to the Caribbean, attacking British, Dutch, and Portuguese merchant ships along the way. Shortly after blockading Charleston Harbor in May 1718, and refusing to accept the governor's offer of a pardon, Blackbeard ran Queen Anne's revenge aground while entering Beaufort Inlet. He disbanded his flotilla and escaped by transferring supplies onto a smaller ship, Adventure. He stranded several crew members on a small island nearby, where they were later rescued by Captain Steed Bonnet. Some suggest Blackbeard deliberately grounded the ship as an excuse to disperse the crew. Shortly afterward, Blackbeard did surrender and accepted a royal pardon for himself and his remaining crewmen from Governor Charles Eden at Bath, North Carolina. However, he eventually returned to piracy and was killed in combat in November 1718. Discovery and Archaeological Excavation of Shipwreck, Intersil Incorporated, a private research firm, discovered the wreck believed to be Queen Anne Euro unregistered trademark S Revenge on November 21, 1996. It was located by Intersil's Director of Operations, Mike Daniel, who used historical research provided by Intersil's President, Film Masters and Maritime Archaeologist David Moore. The shipwreck lies in 28 feet of water about one mile offshore of Fort Macon State Park, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. 31 cannon have been identified to date and more than 250,000 artifacts have been recovered. The cannon are of different origins such as Swedish, English and possibly French, and of different sizes as would be expected with a colonial pirate crew. Recognizing the significance of the Queen Anne's Revenge, the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, Intersil, and Maritime Research Institute entered into a Memorandum of Agreement in 1998. Intersil agreed to forego entitlement to any coins and precious metals recovered from QAR in order that all QAR artifacts remain as one intact collection, and in order for NCDCR to determine the ultimate disposition of the artifacts. In return, Intersil was granted media, replica, and other rights related to Blackbeard a Euro unregistered trademark S Queen Anne's Revenge Shipwreck Project. MRI was granted joint QAR artifact touring rights with NCDCR NCDCR, Intersil, and Rick Allen of Nautilus Productions signed a new collaborative agreement on October 24, 2013 connected to QAR commercial, replica, and promotional opportunities for the benefit of QAR. The state of North Carolina owns QAR since the wreck lies in state waters. For one week in 2000 and 2001, live underwater video of the project was weak cast to the Internet as a part of the QAR Dive Live educational program that reached thousands of children around the world. Created and co-produced by Nautilus Productions and Marine Fix, 
This project enabled students to talk to scientists and learn about methods and technologies utilized by the underwater archaeology team. In November 2006 and 2007, more artifacts were discovered at the site and brought to the surface. The additional artifacts appear to support the claim that the wreck is that of Queen Anne's Revenge. Among current evidence to support this theory is that the cannon were found loaded. In addition, there were more cannon than would be expected for a ship of this size, and the cannon were of different makes. Depth markings on the part of the stern that was recovered point to it having been made according to the French foot measurements. By the end of 2007, approximately one third of the wreck was fully excavated. Artifacts are undergoing conservation. The North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources set up the website Queen Anne's Revenge to build on intense public interest in the finds. Artifacts recovered in 2008 include loose ceramic and pewter fragments, lead strainer fragments, a nesting weight, cannon apron, ballast stones, a sword guard and a coin. Goals during the 2010 field season included Staging of one of the Scheiper Euro unregistered trademark s largest main deck cannons from to the large artifact holding area on site, taking corrosion readings from anchors and cannon undergoing in situ corrosion treatment, attaching aluminum alloy anodes to the remaining anchors and cannons so as to begin their in situ corrosion treatment and continuing site excavations. In 2011, the 1.4-ton anchor from the ship was brought to the surface along with a range of makeshift weaponry including langridge or canister shot. On August 29, 2011, the National Geographic Society reported that the state of North Carolina had confirmed the shipwreck as the Queen Anne's Revenge, reversing a conclusion previously maintained because of a lack of conclusive evidence. On June 21, 2013, the National Geographic Society reported recovery of cannon from Queen Anne's Revenge. On October 28, 2013, archaeologists recovered five more cannon from the wreck. Three of these guns have been identified as six-pound Orion cannon manufactured at Air Endel's works in Tsar Paragraph de Manland, Sweden, in 1713. Thomas Roth, the head of Sweden's Armament Museum Research Department, derived the origin of the iron cannon by a mark on the cannon tubes. The 23rd of 31 cannon identified on the Queen Anne's Revenge wreck site was recovered on Friday, October 24, 2014. The newest gun is approximately 56 inches long, weighs over 300 pounds and may be a sister to a Swedish gun that was previously recovered. Nine cannonballs, bar shot halves, an iron bolt and a grenado were also recovered during the 2014 field season. On August 18, 2015 the state of North Carolina passed a new law laying claim to all photographs, video recordings, or other documentary materials of a derelict vessel or shipwreck or its contents, relics, artifacts, or historic materials in the custody of any agency of North Carolina government or its subdivisions. On October 30, 2015, after seven weeks of work, a small 50 inches long cannon weighing between 150 and 200 pounds was recovered during the fall field season. National Register of Historic Places, Queen Anne's Revenge was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2004. The reference number is 0400148. It is listed as owned by the state of North Carolina and near Moorhead City. The wreck site is designated 31 CR 314 by the state of North Carolina. In popular culture, Queen Anne's Revenge is a jazz song recorded by the Sean J. Kennedy Quartet featuring drummer Liberty DeVito. Queen Anne's Revenge appears in the 2011 film Pirates of the Caribbean, on Stranger Tides, played by Sunset, a ship which previously portrayed Black Pearl in the film's predecessors, Dead Man's Chest and At World's End. This incarnation of the ship was shown to shoot Greek fire from its prow. Queen Anne's Revenge also appeared in the Pirates of the Caribbean online video game. Queen Anne's Revenge is the name of a flogging Molly song on the album Within a Mile of Home. Queen Anne's Revenge appears in the video game Assassin's Creed IV, Black Flag. Queen Anne's Revenge appears in the video game Sid Meier's Pirates. Queen Anne's Revenge appears in Sea of Monsters, the second installment of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series of books. Queen Anne's Revenge appears in the video game Saints Row, Gat Out of Hell. 
Queen Anne's Revenge appears in the 2015 film Pan as one of the flying ships used by Blackbeard and his pirates while they tyrannically rule Neverland. References External links, Queen Anne's Revenge, Archaeological Site, North Carolina Department of Cultural Resources, Blackbeard's Queen Anne's Revenge Shipwreck Project Video, Videographer Susan C. Overwrites to Blackbeard Shipwreck Footage, News and Observer, Photographer suing state over Blackbeard shipwreck footage, WRAL-TV, treasure hunter that found Blackbeard's pirate ship sue state for $8.2 million, Fateville Observer, piracy worries in pirate pursuit Blackbeard, Baltimore Sun, Blackbeard's law would clarify control of media rights to shipwrecks, news and record, lawmakers enter legal battle over Blackbeard's ship, news and observer, Philip Masters, true amateur of history, Dies at 70, New York. Times, controversy over Blackbeard's Queen Anne's Revenge continues, Public Radio East, battle over shipwreck photos brews in NC, Courthouse News, Out to Sea, Elite Magazine, National Register of Historic Places, National Park Service.